was born in a Jewish family as the oldest of four children. Since a very early age, I was raised to clean, cook, play the piano, the usual things women did at the time. I was great at learning languages. I studied mathematics at the university where my father, Max Norther, taught math at the time. He was a very famous professor. I could only observe and listen to the classes and even that was the only possible if every individual professor allowed. They let me take the final exams afterwards and I passed them all. In 1907 I got my doctorate. For seven years I worked at Erlangen Institute for Mathematics with no pay. David Hilbert and Felix Klein invited me to, to join them at the mathematics department. I taught at the university in Gottingen. In 1933, the Nazi came. Not only was I a woman and a Jew, but they also resented my pacifism and liberal attitude. I peacefully endured their decision to throw me out of the university. I reminded focus on mathematics and my students, who were always welcome at my home. Near the end of the year, I decided to move to the United States where I thought at the Women's College Bryn Mawr. The following year, I was called by Abraham Flexner and Oswald Veblen to teach at Princeton, where I found myself in the men's world one month. My life in the USA was most pleasant and I was completely focused on math. I have published over 40 papers. My biggest contribution is definitely a theorem which is to this day a no under my name. It explains the fundamental connection between the symmetry and the law of conservation. In simple words, every symmetry in nature points at a law of conservation, either energy or charge or impulse. I mentored Albert Einstein. He used my ideas to form his general theory of relativity. Everybody knows who Einstein was. Nobody knows who I was. Emmy's life is a proof of the power of endurance, is a testimony of, to simply following your dreams regardless of recognition and awards. That Emmy Noether has never gained the recognition of her male peers is a tragedy of culture. That Emmy Noether's passion was never daunted nor her achievements slowed by cultural obstacles and injustice is a testimony to her spirits.